Hello everyone and welcome to another Smart Arts What's in the Box. My name is Jake and today I am going over what is in December's art box. This box has a lot of really cool stuff, so let's hop down below and see what we got. Alright, so like always, you're going to open up your box and see your smart art brochure. And if you open it up, you're going to see the history of the materials that are in this box, as well as detailed descriptions of the products in this box. Flipping to the quick start guide, this is where you're going to be introduced with a more simplistic set of techniques on how to use the products. And on the next page is where you have the skill challenge step by step guide to give yourself a little bit more of a challenge this month. And of course on the back is where you're going to find pointers on how to attain great results when using these products this month as well as this month's weekly challenge prompts. All right, so the first product out of this box is going to be the Van Gogh Oil Color Starter Kit. This set features six colors of the Van Gogh paint. Van Gogh paint is very beautiful in its color and are really easy to work with. These pure pigment paints blend really well and have a very even texture throughout all the colors. These will be great to use this month to make some beautiful paintings. And the next product out of this box is our Royal and Langnickel Travel Brush Washer. This travel brush washer works great for those on the go artists or these stay at home artists. With its ability to collapse and expand and its lightweight materials, you will always have a great water bowl at the ready at any time you need to make a painting. And another very useful on the go style product out of this box is the Royal Mini Palette. This palette is made with a very strong resin based plastic which makes it very lightweight and made to have a very smooth mixing surface. This palette surface works really good with the oil paints that come in this box but will also work with any acrylic paints that you may have. So the next thing out of the box is actually a bonus item in this month's box and that is the Weber Odorless Turpenoid. This is a premium substitute to traditional turpentine. This odorless alternative gives the same results in cleaning your brushes and thinning out your paints without worrying about leaving any residue in your painting that could cause it to crack down the road. And the next thing out of this box is the Royal Zen Series 63 White Bristle Brush. This brush was made using boar bristle filament and are designed to hold their shape after using them. This brush features a long handle and the materials are very durable and very easy to clean. And the next two items out of this box are the Royal Soft Grip Brushes Fan 4 and Round 5. These brushes are made with acrylic and feature a no slip grip to help keep your hands very comfortable while you're painting. I know for a fact that these brushes are going to play a huge role in making some beautiful landscape paintings this month. And the last product out of this box is the Hannah Mule Oil Paper Blocks. This paper is amazing for oil paints and it's designed to not absorb completely making for a no bleed through in your paper. The paper's glossy finish will help keep the colors very vibrant throughout the piece and this paper is going to assist you in making some beautiful work. And we cannot forget about the best part, which is our sticker and candy to get ourselves energized. So with that being said, let's get into this painting. So the first like two minutes of footage that I shot were really, really fuzzy because I accidentally smacked my head on the camera and forgot to look at it. But all I really did was I used the Zen brush with some blue mixed in with a little brown and white and I just dry brushed the sky in and then used a fan brush to make the clouds. So for this piece, I tried to channel my most inner Bob to make it. I used a very small palette knife to make the mountains using blues, browns, and yellows. I wasn't using any references to make this piece, so really I just let the paints kind of do their own thing in making really cool ridges and highlights in the mountains. So I'm not really used to making oil paints this small, so it was definitely a lot of experimentation with how to apply the materials. I did realize that on the next painting, I'm going to have to tape down the paper because it was moving around the table way too much. At this point, though, it was pretty much too late. This paper is amazing, though. I really like the feel of it, and it really feels like you're painting on canvas with how the texture is and how thick it feels. 
So when it comes to making landscapes, I love using the fan brush over any other brush. You can use it for a lot of different things. It works great for textures, trees, water, clouds, and when it's dry, it works really good to soften the paint onto the paper. So I love making mountainscapes like this because you don't really need any references to make them. You can just play around and push the paints around until you get an idea down that you are going for. It's quite a peaceful process really. And if you're someone who has never used oil paints before and you're used to only using acrylics, the oils take a lot longer to dry compared to the couple minutes that other paints take to dry. So don't wait around for it to dry, just keep adding and moving around paint and you will slowly get the results that you want. But I am going to be quiet and let you guys enjoy this last bit and I will see you guys at the end for the final results. All right, everyone, that is everything in December's Smart Art Box. These materials were a lot of fun to work with, but now it's your turn to see what you can create using the materials in this box. Now, remember to check out the weekly prompts that are on the back of your brochure, as well as the weekly videos where I try to tackle these challenges myself. Complete all four of the weekly challenge prompts by the end of the month and post them using the hashtag SmartArtWeekly and Smart Art Project to get your 500 Peacock points. Also, if you haven't heard yet, Smart Art actually has a new set of boxes called the Smart Art Bundle. These boxes represent a very specific kind of material in each box. If you want more information on this, make sure to check out the Smart Art webpage. Also, make sure to subscribe with notifications on so you don't miss videos like this one. And if you like my work, make sure to check me out over at my personal channel over at Naughty Egg Draw. The link is going to be in the description. But that is all for today, everyone. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.